Good music that we have here, and better people. Uh, yeah, this, this has been a lot of fun today, Mike. We are getting pretty deep into the uh, into the tournament right now. And we have the gauntlet. Hello, everybody. Welcome on back. We're super excited to share with you uh, this absolutely amazing gauntlet that we have prepared. Uh, so go ahead and sit back. I just need to check one or two things to make sure that I have all of the info for this first gauntlet today. Okay. It's important, Mike. It is important. I'm just setting up the multi-twitch, so, so we're mostly synced up. Uh-huh. Can't scan for viruses. I don't care. Corndam better not have put a virus in this. Uh, by the way, all of the GMs have been working on making various save states for this. Uh, Corndam yeah. especially has uh, taken the lead for getting things yeah, put together. Yeah. Huge thank you. To He's Korndam. done a great job of um, compiling all the states, um, you know, zipping them up and organizing them so that it's basically just drag and drop for the racers. Yep, so everybody, the gauntlet, we give them 10 challenges and we see how many they are able to get through in one hour. The gauntlet has become a classic here in Cusa Grande and for a good reason, it's a lot of fun to watch. However, it's also a lot of work to set up. So thank you to yeah. everybody who contributed. Uh, most of the GMs contributed and I believe we also had Okami uh, of games Submit a few of those. So, uh, sneaky Okani, sneaky. Yep, and uh, I and so the reason why I'm sticking around is that I have actually tested all these gauntlet states. So yes. I am actually familiar with each and every one of them. Yeah. So let me go ahead and reveal the games that we have today. We've got these ten beautiful games. American Gladiators, and yes, the goal is to beat the wall. Second game, Atlantis No Nazo. Go through a door. <laughs> that sounds that sounds hard. Okay, cliffhanger for <laughs> Sega CD. Reach the next tunnel. And apparently you'll get a health refill. That is when we are able to tell uh, if they've yeah, done it. Yeah, it's not obvious otherwise. Um, so you have to really watch out for that. Yeah, refill. fourth challenge is Double Dragon for Atari 7800. They just need to beat the level and they will be able to move on and just count that as complete. Level. That's all. <laughs> just beat it. Yeah. Number five, yep, the incredible it. Crash Dummies. They get level 5-1. Goal is to beat that. Six, heavy shred and finish the backwoods run. Number seven, JJM Jeff, obtain the key and reach 4-4. When game over shows up, hold one and two and press run to continue. Oh, that part, like, yeah, it's just if they die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, now the audience knows how to continue JJM Jeff. You're just so helpful with the pro tips. I'm just then. helping everybody. I'm helping. Number eight, Jinmu Densho, get to the crabs. Number nine, low G man, beat stage four, three, the freeze gun does not do damage. So they're going to have to use melee attacks. And finally, number 10, Pac-Man two, complete the minecart stage. Oh, we've got some real nightmares here, but I'm very excited for this. What is this music? What the crap are we listening to? Uh, whose audio are we, are, we, are we using? <laughs> We're listening to your crappy Captain Planet game for... Uh, wait, did you give out the Amiga one? I did not give out the Amiga one. Okay, it was so it, that one's not your fault. Yeah, uh, no, if it was the Genesis one, it would be way more ear-bleeding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. This one's already pretty ear-bleeding, let me tell you. So let me go ahead. Uh, I still have a couple things I still need to set up, so... Uh, everybody just go ahead and chillax because we have some fun coming up for everybody. Pac-Man 2 is an amazing experience. It is not a good game. <laughs> That's what I'll say about it. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd I'd honestly I honestly had a lot of fun playing through it, even though it's incredibly frustrating at times. And one of my favorite parts is that I actually have a box copy of the game. And it has an insert saying, 
stop before you play this game. This is like no other game you've played before. And here's the thing, while a lot of games might claim that, it's actually very true with Pac-Man 2. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll have to take a picture of that insert sometime, but I don't have uh, my copy of the game on me. No, you don't. Okay, it looks like both of the players are live. Let me go ahead and capture their screens so that we can get ready. Yagamoth is going to be doing audio for us. Some girl versus Yagamoth. This is a pretty big match. Both of them very strong players. I think I have both of them marked as going really far into this tournament, you know, based off of my bracket tradition or predictions. So I'm not too surprised to see them going and fighting uh, at this point. Friends fighting friends, what have I done? <laughs> I mean, that's Cuso Grande, right? Or maybe friends fighting controls for friends bad game. Friends fighting controls, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> You've done Cuso Grande, I've bro, Sanchez. You know Grande. this is what you always wanted. I, uh, don't this, deny it. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't fake the fool. Oh, what have I done? It's like, what have yeah, I exactly. done? Exactly. <laughs> More innocent type laugh, you know? It's like. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I am so, very close to being ready here. Yeah. I, I am very excited for this gauntlet. Um. I will tell you this. Um, I think the players will complete at least half the states. I do not think they will be able to finish this off. I don't think so as well. By the way, everybody, we do uh, do a lot of testing for this, but also uh, realize that there is going to be a range of difficulty of the games. Yes. A lot of what they have to do is figure out what is going to be uh, the best thing for them to tackle. Is it going to be worth putting a lot of time in a game that doesn't mesh well with you? Some of the states yeah. are going to be extremely difficult. Some of them will be much easier than the others. Uh, and also... If they have a wide knowledge of video games uh, and know some of these games, that is to yeah. their advantage. This is the one round or where previous or genre knowledge helps. Or genre specialties. There's a lot of different genres in this, and if you know someone's good at, you know, let's say beat em ups, then they might want to try the double dragon one first. But if they're more into platformers, then you know JJ and Jeff or Craig and Cratch companies might be more their speed. Yeah. Also, um, on top of like the varying difficulties, some of the gauntlets really vary in like how unforgiving they are um if you have to restart like some if you restart it's not really a big deal um others you know you can lose minutes if you have to re redo the state so that is also a factor when it comes to completing these challenges I'm checking right now to see if the players are set. By the way, just so you know, if you take a look at the screen above Yagamoth looking at American Gladiators, uh, if he completes that for some reason, I will go ahead and click that. It will become a little bit dimmer, and that means that state is done. Uh, Yagamoth will have one point. Whoever gets the highest score wins, and if there is a tie at the hour, we will give five minutes for the sudden death Over. yeah and if no one completes it sudden death if i remember correctly it's whoever got to that tie point first is that correct uh yes yeah whoever got to the tied score first whoever got there so yagamoth versus some girl really exciting match okay i'm ready to I'm ready to do a countdown. Honestly, I don't know if there's an overall theme. There are lots of sports in this one. So if you have any sports stuff, go ahead and spam emotes. Uh, yeah, there, there are sports, including um, winter sports. Uh, we actually have two snowboarding challenges, not just one, but two. Yeah. Uh, we have poop in one of the challenges. Um, whips. Uh... Whips? Oh, yeah. yeah yeah, double drag. Yeah, the yeah. That's the worst state. Okay. <laughs> Just the one. Yeah, I made that one. So here we go. Uh, two uh, games that I'm pretty dang familiar with. 
yeah. low G men and American gladiators, both of the players seeing yeah. what they can do in this. All right, so low G man, uh, this state, it does not take long to get to the boss, but you have to learn how to navigate through the stage without taking uh, too much damage. And the thing about this game that makes it so awkward is that you have a gun, which, you know, would think, you know, it's pretty easy to aim and stuff, but it only freezes them. To actually kill them, you have to do a downward spear or an upward spear. Yep. And there's no, like, side spear. <laughs> um, so to actually deal damage in this game, it has to be all from all vertical. I which really makes it like really OG, awful. man, though. I played it as a kid. I really don't like low G. Man. It's also one of the few NES games that like doesn't run at 60 frames per second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's got some issues. Uh, American Gladiators. Uh, first off, I have to say, Rigamoth is a fantastic masher because um, oh my you have gosh, to alternate yeah. getting A and B uh, for this challenge. And uh, yeah, to, to, doing very well with because, that. Because it's basically A and B is each hand. And yeah, you just have to bait the challengers right here. This challenge was super, my notes of this challenge was like, it's super frustrating. It killed my wrists and I think it's perfect. Um, uh, because, yeah, uh, yeah so trouble. you can't go down. You can't scroll back down. So yeah, he just screwed himself. Now, did you ever watch American Gladiators when it was airing, a Mike? A little bit, but I wasn't like big into it or anything. It was, it was almost like professional wrestling of sports or something it like that. It was kind of, of weird. With the wall, they just had these women chasing you and trying to knock you off the wall. Yeah. And, and the best part is, is that you can get hit by them as they're falling off. So you have to make sure yeah. to dodge that. And yeah. if you, and if yeah, if your hand is like even like a bit on that tile and you don't get it out, then you will fall down. On, on your next next step or your next few steps. Now, yes, the game is so very finicky about where you can actually go here, and you have to make sure that your hands are in the correct place or else you'll fall down like that. Just so people know as well, both of the players, you know, they're on different states. They haven't cleared any yet. Uh, for American Gladiators, American Gladiators, they need to beat the wall. Low G man beat stage four three. Uh, yeah, so some girl already made it to the boss, and uh, NPC and I both very much prove this state because like they, it, it didn't take her very long to get to the boss. The boss takes a ton of hits. It takes at least thirty hits, if not more. Um, and so really, the challenge is just figuring out how to kill the boss reliably. Yeah. I'd say that if either of these were a trap state, though, American Gladiators would probably be uh, more of the trap because this game is ludicrously difficult. It is ludicrously difficult, but it but it is consistent. Like they always spawn from the same locations. Yes. Um, you can learn this state, so I don't think it's that much of a trap, but it can take some time. It took me somewhere around seven to eight minutes to complete this. Were there any which... states in this that you uh, uh, would consider a trap? Uh, cliffhanger. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's <laughs> technically not that long, but it's just so hard. It took me 20 minutes to beat. It, it was by far. Yeah, oh. I'm serious. It was by far the hardest state for me to complete. I love that. Um, I would say the easiest state in this. Um, let me look at them. It's either Pac-Man 2 or Atlantis No Nazo, and they're still pretty challenging. Yeah, and Lantis No Nazo is trick. mostly confusing, I'd say. Yeah, it's most... Well, it's less confusing and more like the physics in that game are really messed up. <laughs> and you have to learn, like, how the jumping works because it doesn't really make very much sense. But once you learn that, I'd say it's not too bad. And Yagamoth learning firsthand that the Fallen Gladiators can indeed defeat you. And Land is no Nazo. Yeah, the players are welcome to change to any of the challenges anytime that they want. And Yagamoth is taking a bit of a breather. I think that's that could be a good choice. You know, he still has a pretty solid understanding of American Gladiators, and just getting back there, you know, yeah. there's not going to be any RNG. The biggest thing is that exactly. you know he'll need to remember where the ladies spawn, and that's the biggest thing you got to remember. Yeah, so the big thing about this low G-man state is that you want to freeze the boss, um, stab it like three or four times on top of its head, and then like jump up 
so that if it tries to shoot at you, you'll actually despawn it by jumping. Um, you also want to take Wait, care what? of some of the turrets so they don't hit you. you yeah, can it's despawn real. The boss? No, you can't despawn the boss. You well, oh. actually, but you can despawn the bullets the boss fires. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, you gotta use every weapon that's in your arsenal if. Yeah. I yep. love that. Uh, this. Uh, the, the specific state says freeze gun does not do damage the spear does uh, and it gives the controls for those however the the it is you freeze gun need to freeze you definitely yeah, you have to do. freeze because um if an enemy is frozen then it's not hitting you and some girl does know this because she has frozen enemies before there but she go. probably okay. had maybe so, so she's learned something that's very important it, this is like the main way you're gonna take out the boss basically yep Freezing the boss, jump on it, stab down a few times, and then get away. So Yagamoth yeah, is making that. great progress through uh, Atlantis No Nazo, and there what makes is. this thing kind of annoying, and you're not quite seeing it, but like, to really make a jump, you have to make sure that you're not touching a wall, because walls will kill all your momentum, and yep. then you can barely jump forward after that. So that's what makes this state really annoying. Yeah, the physics um, are bad. Yeah, they are really bad, and the jumps are committed. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I forgot about that, now. yeah. And yeah, this is a brutal game. I think it's kind of infamous among Japanese gamers for being just really hard and obtuse, Atlantis No Nazo. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely uh, would agree with that. Like, if you were trying to do a casual playthrough of this game, you're going to have fun. Yep. Um, but Yagamoth is making slow but steady progress, but yeah. Got to do yeah, a little the, the... bit of a run jump there. There we exactly, go. Exactly, because you jump higher that way, which is also very stupid. Um, I mean, you're doing Mario, too. Oh, baby. He's ads. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. 200 time units left. Can he get there? Tenth zone. Uh, let's see. Go if... through a door. He has completed it, yes. Yep, if he went through the door, then he's completed it. Unfortunately, yeah. I'm stuck in this ad, so I can't see it right now. You're stuck in an ad? Yes. Oh my gosh. See, I paid extra money to Twitch.tv just so that I can run the show that makes the money. Thank you, Twitch.tv, for not giving me an option to turn <laughs> off ads uh, for other people because I'm restreaming them. Yeah, probably Gene Genie's uh, favorite game, Double Dragon. Uh, they did win this match, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't watch much of it, but uh, Stage 1 was definitely a struggle for both players, and uh, oh, yeah. both Glitchwitch and I took somewhere around 13 to 15 minutes to complete this stage. Uh, yeah. It's technically not that long, but you just have to learn, like, how to get around the game's cheapness, basically. The game's you really have to... Yes, you really have to abuse the axis movement, and I found um, using the back elbow um, was one of the more effective ways of taking out enemies. I would agree with that, yeah. As you can see, Yagamoth is almost dead on the first set of enemies, uh, and that is very usual for your first playthrough. Oh, jeez. And there we go, a death. Some girl, meanwhile, trying to fight this boss, taking a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, you really just have to freeze the boss, hit it like three or four times, do a high jump. Freeze the boss, hit it three or four times. Unfortunately, some girl's also collecting the health down potion. Uh, it's worth noting that this game not only has health up potions, but it's health down potions. And the red potions, which look like, you know, they would restore your health, because, you know, like, hearts and stuff like that are actually the health downs, and the purple are the health up. I mean, of course, Mike. Yeah, yeah the, and there's the, actually the, a boss in this game that its, like, main attack is to just constantly rain down health down potions on you, and it's so obnoxious. Some girl just got two health up potions, so that's that could be helpful, uh, but honestly... Uh, some girl just needs to realize the timer doesn't move very quickly. You have plenty of time to deal with this boss. 
There we go. Yagamoth onto area two of this first level. The goal is to make it to the boss and kill him. It's not going to happen this playthrough, let me tell you. Yeah, um... The, the, so, uh, having the whip is good, but, uh, or so the bat, but, um, uh, I would say that, uh, Yagamoth scrolled the screen too much. Possibly. Oh, watch out, they're coming for you, Yagamoth. You, you really want to fight as few enemies as possible in this game, because, like, you can't... You can't really effectively deal with multiple enemies very well, unless you have a weapon. Yeah. And even then, like, you just want to deal with as few enemies as possible, so, like, the Bobo's not punching you, because he has a range. Yeah. We're going to see and this game over really soon. to manage less enemies. I love this. It's so... It's such a difficult level. Hey, Author Blues, thank you for that raid, and thank you for those who have been dropping subs. Much love to y'all. And the best part is that's the first level. Okay, so Yagamoth is doing incredible crash dummies. Um, this game's really annoying because if your head gets knocked off, your controls are reversed. So yeah, Yagamoth just went in the wrong direction because now his controls are reversed. <laughs> Yeah, welcome and, to this. And, and, and yeah, and there's like no, there's very few iframes, so like it's very easy to combo in this game repeatedly. The one saving grace that makes this state more doable is that like the checkpoints are very frequent in stages, so you really don't lose much progress if you die, and you are given three lives. However, that being said, you can lose those three lives very fast. Oh yeah, the, yeah, I'd agree. Uh, it still is. Like, I, I think that out of all the states that are given, this is probably one that I would try sooner rather than later, uh, just because a lot of NES games, they, like, when they're going fast, you can usually complete them relatively quickly. There's no timer listed there, so, you know, I'm not under a time limit. I don't have to stress quite as much. And uh, based off of what I know about this game, the levels themselves are not super long. Yeah, uh, this is not super long, technically, but yeah, so yeah, you have to collect the speed up power, which makes it really hard to control oh, yeah. your crash. Uncontrollable. It's, it's almost like more of a handicap or drawback. Oh, than, he reloaded oh, no, the stage. Yagamoth, yeah. Yagamoth does not know do there are checkpoints. No, no, I think he knows because he has died and he has been dropped off like later, you know, like pretty much where he was. I think you might just want to make more progress, but honestly, in a, in a state like this, you just want to try, like, to get as far as possible, and then, like, just learn from there, in yeah. my opinion. Um, that's what I did, and I was able to beat it in about five or six minutes, if I remember correctly. It, it's not too long, but you also have to play patiently, which uh, Yagamoth is not doing. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. One of, one of the difficult things as well is that uh, if you are bouncing, you're not going to be able to get a jump off. And I'd say yeah. that's probably the most frustrating part. By the way, some girl has just decided I am locked in on this specific state. I'm going to yeah. keep doing it. Now, there are actually different levels for the spear, but I don't think... Uh, I, I think they pretty much started with the base spear. That might have been a spear up that some girl just got. Oh no, it's invincibility. Yeah, that helps, but she's gonna wanna freeze now. Yeah. The thing is, this boss takes so many hits. It really does, especially without any weapon upgrade, which I think some yeah. girl has an upgrade. You have to freeze this boss. What? Maybe? Is that an exploit, or is she just not hitting the boss? No. I think she... <laughs> yeah, we're 14 minutes in, and uh, Yagamoth has one state completed. Some girl has none completed. Uh, this... There's still plenty of time for things to change. But honestly, you know... Sunken cost fallacy. Is it worth it for some girl to keep going with this? I mean, she has yeah. gotten close to completing this one. Yeah, I mean, what's fortunate about this state is that you can get here very quickly. So, like, even if she, you know, doesn't want to do this state anymore, she can come back to it later. Like, she has a lot of game knowledge from this state, and I really think it's in her best interest to at least try some of the other states just to see what they're like. Yeah, I do enjoy this jump strategy. I'm, I'm not sure it's actually hitting the boss, but... Yeah, um... 
that that I'm pretty sure that one hit the boss, but I, the best strategy is really just to um, get in the middle, freeze the boss, hit it like three or four times. Yagnoff yeah, fell for the troll in Incredible Dash Crash Dummies, which is getting the the health up, which uh, is right over a slime pit, which just instantly kills you. Some girl is moving on to Incredible Crash Dummies as well. I think it's a smart move. She can always come back to low G man whenever she wants. Okay. Uh, Yagmoth seeing there's a pretty clear checkpoint. Very nice. Yeah, um, unfortunately, Yagmoth collected the speed up, which just completely threw off his uh, control. Now, the goal with Incredible Crash Dummies is to beat 5 1. It's just one level. It's not yep. an easy level, but. You it's know. not an easy level, but it's also not too long. And I think he's getting pretty close to the end. I think so. Ah! Oh! Crusher. Well, they don't deal too yeah. much damage. Yeah, the Crusher is fortunately, unlike a lot of games, only one damage, and I think he, he That's made it. That's it. Yagamoth is through the Incredible Crash Dummies. That's two to zero so far. Uh, now JJ and Jeff, the one of the ugliest games. <laughs> the, uh, remember when I said poop? Well, this is the game. Oh yeah, this one has poop. The goal is to get to 4-4, four, four, if I am certain here. Yeah, obtain the key, get to 4-4. Four, four. Now, the problem with getting keys in this game is that they're hidden. Hey, there we go. Some girl is on to American Gladiators. I'm wondering how she'll do with this. Honestly, because there's, like, no randomness, it's fairly doable. Uh, so what's worth noting about JJ and Jeff is that even though you said the keys are hidden, this key in this stage is not too hard to get. Okay. Um, you can technically beat this state very fast, and I did it by accident. There is a warp in this stage that warps you straight to 4-4. Four, four. Um, otherwise it takes a long time to get to 4-4, four, four, and I did not beat this stage state legitimately, and it can be pretty tough to do because if you try to beat this legitimately, there is a chance you can get warped back to 4-2 instead and then have to restart the state, basically. No! Yeah, good luck! <laughs> Into the hole. That's okay. Some girl is doing fairly well on the wall. Uh, the time yeah. up there does kind of come into play. Like, it, it can be... Especially if you're not moving super fast, uh, the timer can feel a little bit tight. Oh no! Yeah, she is playing kind of conservatively, which makes sense. Um, it's perfectly fine. Oh yeah. Yes! Yeah, into the pit! <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Okay, some girl climbing the wall. So what's funny about JJ and Jeff is that sometimes the pits will take you into beneficial areas that will restore your health or warp you to the next stage. Now, it'll only be beneficial to Yagamoth if he A, figures out where this warp is, which I think is just to the left of the key that you collect, and B, he collects the key, because you have to collect the key in order to count this as a success. And getting these warps are a fluke, but like if you fall into pits enough, you can just find, figure them out by accident, because that's how I did it. <laughs> I think we're seeing a theme that physics are certainly a thing in this game. Yes. Uh, it's also worth noting that there's two types of jumps. There's a high jump, and then there's the normal jump. And uh, wow, he is really speedrunning this. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going fast and doing pretty dang well. Yeah. You got to jump into there, not on there. And, oh. uh, he, and and what's unfortunate is that he needs to collect the key girl? here. Oh, that is not the correct way to go. Okay, luckily she's got room to navigate here. Honestly, some girl is almost she's to the end of this state. Progress. Um, she's making really good progress. You want to go on the left side, but she probably doesn't know this because yeah, that happens. And oh, oh the dodges, I the love, dodges! I love the glove power up. It makes you go so fast. And there we go. Some girl is through. That was so good! Holy right, well, she's cow! How did I try? That was amazing! That was way faster than how I did it. That was like, what, maybe two or three minutes? Uh, yeah, that was very fast. See, and, every uh, once in a while you should just I mean, switch and see if something one. fits. It's, uh, Yagamoth has completed Atlantis, Nonazo, and, uh, what's the other one? 
uh, incredible crash dummies. And some girl, and they're both on JJ and Jeff. What they need to realize is that you can kick the trash cans. Oh, um, yeah. That's how you get the key. I don't know if you can get the key anywhere else, but that's the only way I know how to get the key. Yagamoth did figure out he can sometimes fall in the pits and not die. Okay, some girl got the key. Very if she nice. fell to us, she would have just completed the state. But how would you know that <laughs> unless if you know this game? Because that if you just fall to the left right there, it warps you uh, into... <laughs> Four. And yep, this game, basically what you should assume, if a platform is standing still and it's small, it will fall down and you just have to jump off. Um, it'll probably take players a little while to realize this, but it becomes pretty obvious fairly quickly. Oh, yeah. Wonk, wonk, wonk. <laughs> and RBW is telling me you cannot get the key anywhere else, so some girl has a significant advantage over Yagamoth because she knows where the key is. Oh yeah, there some girl goes right. on the elevator. Oh. Very nice. Moving on. I'm to hoping the next area. some girl does not take the spring, but chances are she's gonna take the spring. Because if she takes the spring, I think it's the first one, uh, she will be warped back to uh 4-2. Because this game is totally kind and fair. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, watch out! Oh, oh good, you killed the dude. Oh, there's a door. Hopefully the door heals. Please be a heal. Yeah. It's a vampire. Oh, it, did, it does heal? Okay. It did say the green spring helps you correct your mistakes. No! Oh! <laughs> this game is so evil. So hard. But some girl does have the key. Uh, that's a huge plus. Yagmoth has not managed to find it yet. Oh, there's the spring. Back to 4-2. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a reload, it looks like, on some yeah. girl's screen. Oh, I love it. Yagamoth managing to get on the elevator. Very nice. The problem is he has no key, which means he cannot complete the state. You're right. Uh, right now, he would have to reset in order to... Well, I mean, getting a game over could do it. There we go. I think Yagamoth's going to try to continue and see... Uh, what will happen. But yeah, if, if for some reason the continue takes him to that area of the field... Uh-oh. Yeah. Back to the beginning of 4-3. Good idea. Ugh. The thing is, you have to assume uh, with some games, if there is a sprite, it could possibly be decorative or it could possibly not be. Uh, you know... The trash can is so detailed and so in the foreground, and why would you have trash cans on a cloud? You know, that 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 is sort of some of the thinking that could help you figure out you need to do something with it. Also, I don't know if some girl realizes that uh, you do lose health gradually in this game. Your, your health bar is not only health bar, but it's also a timer. Yes. You will eventually die if you don't get healed. Oh, I like the okay. wolf guy. Don't okay. take the spring. No spring. No spring. Oh my gosh. No okay, spring. I think you have to kick that sea anemone. I, I <laughs> bet so, yeah. Why not? It's James Kate and Jeff. I mean, if it's there, kick it. That's the rule exactly. of this game. If it's there, try it's kicking. Little... Yeah, so what's great about like kicking the trap the, the sea anemone is that like some of them will reveal like necessary platforms and others will just fling poop in your face and you'll take damage yeah <laughs> which i gotta respect the troll there like it's pretty great <laughs> i just know what that. it is you know okay hey, is that... girl, i believe is that maybe four? through let's find out uh okay see i didn't complete this legit okay she did it okay very nice Oh no, is she trying cliffhanger? Okay, she's trying Atlantis and No Nazo. That, um, yeah, right now it's tied and Atlantis No Nazo can go relatively oh, no. quickly. <laughs> Not cliffhanger. So you have to hold a button to accelerate in this game, and if you make if you get hit like two or three times, yeah, you just get taken over by the avalanche. And uh yeah. And uh, it's really easy to hit objects in this. Um, yeah, I you know. Can't 
always go full speed or else you will eventually collide into something oh my like gosh. that and it will slow down watch out the yeah, like, is coming no. yeah but if you don't hold down the button enough then you uh, game oh this is beautiful this is I so know. bad I know, it's like Mode 7 on the Genesis, because, like, the Sega CD could do something kind of similar. I don't know if it was Mode 7, but, like, more scaling and stuff, so... Yeah, I think this is Sega CD exclusive, and, uh, yeah, this is really bad, and it's super long and super difficult. There's one part I legitimately don't know how to dodge consistently. This is just weave in and out, it's, which is easier to do. Oh, the avalanche! Yeah. Oh, the avalanche! <laughs> so... Hopefully she doesn't focus on this one for too long, because, like I said, this took me 20 minutes. Now, some girl completed a Married Gladiators way faster than me, but, like, even if she does this in, you know, a half or quarter of the time that I do it, that's still, like, five to ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Faster. Faster. Yeah. You, um, so, the Pac-Man 2 state. Um, this is the minecart. Uh, this is probably one of the more controllable sections in this game. Yeah, um, you I agree. <laughs> If you slingshot Pac-Man, um, he'll jump, which is honestly more direct control you can give Pac-Man than, like, the rest of the game. <laughs> well, some girl is doing really well with speed, maintaining speed, going through a yeah. lot of these air Well, not here, but honestly, you know, just figuring out a consistent way to get through this, if you can, yeah. uh, is doable. You know, it is helpful. Yeah. The thing is, that's like section like two out of five in terms of like the types of sections there are are you serious and, like, yes that, that like weave in and out of the um i guess rock columns or maybe there's six it, it's long it's long <laughs> and, 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 the, and, the, and the sections only get more difficult are you and, and, serious? And, like, and, the, and the hitboxes are so big in all the objects it's just yeah like if any state is a trap it's this one like this one took me by far the longest some girl managing to figure out the weaving here. Very nice. Yeah, um, unfortunately this section's pretty long. Yeah, 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 it looks pretty long, Mike. Yeah. Oh, no! yeah. Uh, she, she was kind of close to getting through that section. Um, the problem is, you might think it's over after that section, but that's like maybe if 40% of the way done after you're through that section, if even that much. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> like yeah, and that's the thing, like, you want to go really fast to here, because oh, otherwise the snowdrift catch up, catches up, but if you're always, you know, like, holding down the A button, um, you will eventually collide into those rock face. Oh, she's doing a great Very job of weaving. Very nice. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I'm it's, it's really hard not to get hit here. Like, I, I usually got hit at least once or twice, even after, you know, I, I got decent at this. Um, okay, she's faster. through. Now Very you go through these tunnels, and then now there's these rock paths that you have there's to jump There's no way over. to see before that. Oh my god. Pretty much. This is unfair. And like, it is so unfair. And it's so hard. Oh, no. <laughs> if you screw up, <laughs> that happens. Uh, yeah, so she, I think she's about halfway through now, I think. Um, Take that, Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The minecart's pretty funny in this. Um, the th what's nice about the minecart is even unlimited lives. There's no checkpoints, but like, you can just retry it over and over and over again. Um, it, it does require a fair amount of memorization. So it does take a while, but like as long as you like kind of consistently plug away at it, you know, you will make it through eventually. <laughs> Pac-Man's so scared. Yeah, like, that's the problem. Like, to reliably dodge them, you need to have a really precise positioning so that you don't hit either the arch or the rocks. It's really difficult. And it took me so many tries just to get through that area, like, semi-consistently, and I usually still got hit, like, at least once or twice. Yeah, yeah, she's getting great consistency, but here's the thing, Tempestral. There's a part I legitimately don't know how to dodge consistently. And when you see it, you will also be confused on how to dodge consistently. I'm excited. <laughs> because I, I actually know nothing about this day other than Sylvester Stallone going fast. Yep. 
you know, maybe you should have chosen a different mountain to climb. Just my, <laughs> yeah. my suggestion here. <gasps> oh, wow. She's... Oh, wow. oh, no! This is okay. She's so still good. okay. She's still okay. But she still has, like, two or three more of these to go through. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh, avalanche! Oh. Avalanche! Get out! <laughs> oh, no. She's, she's dead now. Okay. This is... Oh, this is so hard. And, like, she's... And as I said before, she's only maybe about halfway through. Like, it's so long and it's so hard. Yeah, now remember, because the players have the same states and the same games, you know, uh, they, they pretty much have equal opportunities to try various games and figure out what works for them. You know, uh, we don't guarantee anybody will complete all the states. We don't com or guarantee that anybody will complete half of the states, you know? It, yeah. it, it really depends on what gets thrown their way. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm really hoping someone tries Jinmu uh, Densho because, like, that game sure does have some perspective. <gasps> ah, oh. Sylvester! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, this, this state is so hard, and she probably thinks she's so close to the end, but she's really not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd say this is definitely a trap state. Uh, Yagamoth, yeah. I think, is... Probably making a smart choice by jumping back yeah. to this after taking a bit of a breather from the climbing section. I mean, mashing is hard on your hands, but if you have other games in between, then it becomes a little bit more bearable. Yeah, um, this game definitely did kill my wrists because, uh, American Gladiators, that is, because I just went in hard on it, and after about seven, eight minutes, I was like, ow, my hands, yeah. ow, my wrists. <laughs> because you gotta mash A and B out alternating because it, it corresponds to each like each side of your body. Yeah, it's not exactly the, the best control scheme that exists out it, there. It, it's a very like NES old sports game control scheme. Yep. Oh my gosh! Oh the avalanche is coming oh 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 oh, oh. oh it, So here's the, the thing that's not even the worst part <laughs> of the states. Okay, she's changing. That's a smart yeah. move. Because that's not even the last section. That There's a part evil. where, like, the little, like, stones, like, just completely alternate. Like, there's, like, ten of them in a row, like, just alternating, like, in a zigzag pattern. And, like, you have to do, like... And then, like, right after it, there's, like, one of those, you know, arches. So, like, you have to do this, like, perfectly timed jump. So you jump over all the stones and still make it through the arch. It's really dumb. How can they it's justify so it just getting harder? Also, you know, I'm wondering, does that game have infinite continues? Because if so, maybe I that's fine. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, but it's evil. In Pyro Hydra, I am very for real. It is... So hard. Some girl this is girl definitely is a, this, doing uh, well, uh, yeah. No. Well, some girl does a lot of platforming and a lot of kind of janky platformers. This is totally up her alley. Oh, and oh, Yagamoth! Two? It's snowboarding! What? Stage two! Alright, so Yagamoth doesn't know the, the fast button yet, but... Okay, he's figured out the fast button a little bit. <laughs> and there we go. Some girl moves into the lead, beating Atlantis No Nazo. Oh, nice. That was super fast. Yeah. And Pac Man I think, time. I think that puts her in the lead, too. Yes, she is in the lead. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh! <laughs> it's just so satisfying whenever he dies, okay? Yeah. I mean, you can see the progress of the snowdrift, but basically, the progress is going to be generally either you're way ahead of it or it's way too close to you. Yep. <laughs> and there's not a whole lot of in between. I can appreciate that Yagamoth is slowing down a little bit at some of the trickier jumps. Yes, uh, you do have to slow down a bit. Why does it sound like Beauty and the Beast a little bit? I don't know. Oh, 
So some girl, I don't think she knows how to jump yet in Pac-Man 2 Challenge, but she'll probably figure it out. Well, yeah. <laughs> and to be fair, this is one of the less cryptic parts of Pac-Man 2. I love it. As someone who has beaten Pac-Man 2. I've never beaten it. I, wait, have I? I don't know. Oh, pause well, strats, pause. I'm, I'm loving pause. pause cheese. It's not that helpful. <laughs> The spinning pause, like I, I feel like that might make pause strats just not doable. <laughs> exactly, like that's just so distracting. <laughs> oh, I, I hope Yagamoth doesn't spend too much time in this state. There's much better states to focus on. But um, I mean, you say but, that, but I'm enjoying Sylvester Stallone, you know? <laughs> Sylvester Stallone just getting wiped out by an avalanche over and over and over again. It seems like if, if you land on the ground and you don't jump right away and you bounce up with your snowboard, you're just not going to be able to jump again. Uh, you Like, while you're in the air, you can't jump. It makes sense. That's how physics work. <laughs> but it's JJ and Jeff physics, you know? Not JJ and Jeff, what was it? By the way, speaking of snowboarding, we haven't seen heavy, shred heavy shredding yet. And I do think that's probably one of the shorter and easier challenges. Oh uh, yeah. So some girl has figured out how to jump in Pac-Man 2, so that's good. Um, she's next gonna have to figure out how to get rid of boulders, which she has. Now what she's gonna figure out here is not to hit um, the extenders here, because then that leaves them there, and uh, yeah, then the minecart crashes, and there's no way to dodge them. What you have to do is that you have to wait until um, you're clear, and then run through them. I just love watching Cliffhanger, <laughs> though. Like, this is one of the things that, like, it looks really cool. I love it how- It does look really cool. I bet the devs, yes, we get to show off the power of the Sega CD. And they were not like, is this fun at all or anything? It's like, yes, we get to sh make something cool for the Sega CD. Yeah. Oh man. And, here, and that's the thing, like Yagamoth, not even close to halfway through. You're imagining his music as a Pac-Man 2 soundtrack. Very dramatic Pac-Man 2 soundtrack. <laughs> the most dramatic of all Pac-Man games, Pac-Man 2. I mean, have you seen the number of moods Pac-Man goes through in Pac-Man 2? It is definitely the most dramatic of Pac-Man Pac games. Yeah, I, I agree. Faster, faster. I mean, it, it, it's basically like a, a Greek tragedy in video game form. It's true. Okay. Kill the ghost. Oh no! Well, okay, don't kill the ghost. Yeah, you, you don't want to kill the ghost there. You you just have to let it be and speed through. Yeah. Why not? Uh, I want to kill the ghost. Well, you can't kill ghosts. Never mind. There are good games on the CD, oh, but they're like the mostly... Level? Oh no, the yeah. water is lava level. I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, so I didn't watch much of the match, and wow, this game sure does have a perspective. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, it sure it's does have the a perspective. most perspective of all video and, games And there's there. some parts you really don't want to fall in, or else you go to heck. And oh, heck yeah. is, uh, it, it's heckin' bad. Yeah, honestly, uh, getting through heck is bad. Yeah, and also, uh, one thing that, yeah, she wants to do is just constantly slash. Either constantly slash or constantly charge it up and let go because, yeah. Or else you're still going to take damage, but you're not going to take as much damage as long as you constantly slash. Like, it's so... This game never should have been a platformer, okay? Like, just stick to what the genre did. I mean, I'm technically, they experimented. It's, not, it's not another platformer because it's definitely very unique in its platform. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's an unimaginable platformer that's what this game is <laughs> yeah it's, it's like who could be seen with this platformer oh, other no. than wolf team heck time oh yeah, i love I the think, heck music too it's so good i don't know if it slows you down but it sure does beat you up a lot
All right, we're we're getting some food sent over to us. Uh, don't worry, I'll I won't disappear. I'm just letting you know I'm gonna be eating probably during the next match. That's fair. I mean, you do have you know, oh, you know about five hours of matches basically when you can yeah. put all the setup time. Yeah, uh, I... you gotta eat. In fact, I'm gonna eat after this match. So mm, I see. Sylvester's the you know how it is getting essential nourishment after <laughs> Okay, Yagmoth is doing a really good job with this section left and right. It's so long. How is it's it so, so long? long? Oh my and gosh. he's still not halfway through. And this part is so hard to dodge the stupid rocks. And even if you dodge the stupid rocks, then sometimes you'll just get hit by the arch. No! Oh! There he goes. I'm wondering and if Yagamoth is going to move on. Nope, not yet. Uh, so I hope he moves on soon. The but, goal for yeah. some girl is to get to the crabs. Uh, I believe that's the crab boss at the end of this stage. Yes. Uh, when, you don't have to kill the boss. You just have to get to it. <laughs> but still, that's a big enough challenge. We saw people it in is. this match here for a long time, and we also I'm saw sure. heck a lot. I'm not too sure how long it took me, but it probably took me at least six or seven minutes. If um, it definitely took me a while. But yeah, no, I mean, the perspective, as McCall would say, is jacked. Like, it's just jacked. Like, there's no other way to really describe it. It's just jacked. Like, it just ah! doesn't make sense. Yeah. And, and here's the thing, honestly, if you get, you know, bumped into heck, I would just advise when starting this state. Like it's Yeah, it, it just is gets really Stallone. -ing. Wow. Stallone. -ing. Well yeah, look at this. Bam. <laughs> Good Bam. He's become a pro cliffhanger. Well, uh with sections one and two, but three is pretty brutal and it just gets worse after that. And yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, the final section is just so bad. So what you ideally want to do is make a jump so you're either only uh, jumping over one of them or make a jump so you clear two of them as they're closer. So you have yep, to be, like, like careful. Yeah, so yeah, you're doing a good job. The problem is he's going so slowly that, like, if he gets bumped once, yeah, it just, it's just over. Paused. Paused, paused. Yeah, honestly, I I don't think most people are going to die from running into too many rocks in this game. Yeah, Question, you don't are there any damage. checkpoints in this? Uh, I think Okami said that the checkpoints are when your health is restored. And uh, yeah, they haven't reached that yet. Yeah, apparently you'll get health refill when you reach the goal. And apparently uh, this is stage two. <laughs> this is the second stage in the game? <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Well, that's... Yeah, Okami's uh, correct. You do go through a tunnel um, once you hit the next checkpoint. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, my gosh. Why is this game such a nightmare? As I said, Kapow, it took me about 20 minutes to, to complete this state. It is... I was so. This is definitely the state that made me the angriest. It got so bad once I completed this state. I love it, Mike. Yeah, I, I'd say this is out of all of them that I've seen so far. This is the yeah, trap. It, it, yeah, this is the biggest trap. Still, like, is the Agamoth changing? Yeah. Double trap, double dragon, double. while being a bit, of, while being a bit of a trap, but just because it's so hard, like. It's definitely reasonably doable. It's doable, yeah. It's just uh, very hard. As soon as you start yeah. learning how to deal with the cheese in the game, it's doable. Probably like the second hardest slash longest state. Technically, it's not that long, but just learning how to really reliably get through without taking too much damage is the challenge. And it took Glitwitch and I a similar amount of time to complete this. It took us around the 13 to 15 minute range. 
everybody, we've got 15 minutes left. Just so you know, uh, some girl is currently winning with three of these states completed. Yagamoth has completed two. If they are tied at the hour mark, then they get an extra five minutes to try to complete one more state. Yeah, and if by the end of that overtime, uh, no one completes one, then whoever um, got got to the tie point first uh, wins. And I agree with Corn Dan. Uh, heavy shredding is not that bad. It took me a while to complete because I kind of mind game myself on it, but like, it's really not a terribly long state, and it's and it's pretty forgiving. Like, it doesn't have a lot of checkpoints, but like certain falls you take, you just kind of get right back up. So it's definitely pretty easy to make measurable progress in that state. Yagamoth is doing a little bit better. One death here. Uh, I still feel like that's an early enough death that it would be worth uh, resetting and starting over. Just like health management is 100% the most important thing in it Double is. Dragon. If there's no like health ups or, you know, like health restores. So you gotta be really careful with your health. Also, it's just trying to run through heck. Yeah, uh, I will say this. If Cliffhanger really only had one programmer, I'm going to say that's very impressive because like as wow. stupid as that as that state challenges, like that is some really impressive program. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I'd agree. Like, yeah, it's overly difficult, but it's fairly yeah, but, competent for what it is. Like, yeah, it, it still is like, playable. It has good graphics. Like, it has smooth scrolling. Like, it's well programmed. That is not the fault of the challenge. Oh, yeah. Okay, some girl is still trying this state. Uh, honestly, it's pretty dang difficult. Uh, Jin Mu Densho, the goal is to get to the crabs. That's the boss at the end of this level. When we saw this match, it took the players a long time to get there, but uh, luckily the GMs were generous enough to give full health going into this. Uh, yeah, Mike, the fun thing about this game is that if you uh, get to this stage uh, and you don't have full health yet, it gives you a small health refill. If you continue, you don't get that health refill at all. Uh, Wait, what is I, I like... believe you get it. Like, you can continue from this stage uh, when, when you get to it, but it gives you the health that you had when you oh, completed when we, the boss uh, before. It, yeah. Me. Instead of filling your health back up. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's such a terrible mechanic. Hey, Yagamoth. I'm, technically, I mean, well, Ernest Evans just, you know, just lets you continue from where you are. Ernest Evans I'm just trying to perfect. compare this to, to one of the best Wolf Team games, Ernest Evans, so. That's, that's not ironic, by the way. Ernest Evans is legitimately, like, one of the better Wolf Team games. I mean, yeah. I would say their yeah. best is Granada, but uh, Ernest Evans is up there. Although, I'm not too familiar with their, like, Japanese home computer output, so maybe some of those games are better. But yeah, their best console is definitely Granada. Yeah, the goal for this uh, Double Dragon State is to beat the stage. There is still the boss coming up. Yeah, that's right. We haven't seen the hardest part of this state yet. Uh, yeah. A Bobo is, uh, rough, to say the least. Yeah, unfortunately. So what you really have to do in this state is use a lot of the axis movement. Um, to just, like, dodge the enemies and then, like, use your back elbow. I think Yagamoth is, nope, not quite at the end. Um, Close. after he clears two enemies, he's gonna get to the boss. But look at how much, like, two yeah, bits of health, uh, no extra lives. I don't he's think he's not, gonna complete not, it. Uh, complete it. Unless but he really maybe, finds some cheese quickly. Yeah. Maybe he'll be able to complete it the next attempt. Oh my gosh. Well, there's the boss. Okay. He made it to the end, at least. You can tell it's a boss because it's got crappy music. Okay, so some girl is near oh, the, the end. Oof. Some girl is near the end of the state because the pl because the platforms are starting to wind around a lot. So yeah. You kind of have to take it. 
point. Um, and that's when you know, well, she doesn't know, but that's when you're near the crabs. That's when we know, yeah. Oh, exactly. Yagamoth is down. Very nice. Uh, honestly, uh, learning a little bit about how the boss works is definitely advantageous. It'll help you. Okay, Yagamoth, back to the beginning of the game. Like, the thing about gotcha. this as well is that there are no continues in this version of Double Dragon. Nope. If you game over, you just game over. Ooh, some girl missed a statue, which is really unfortunate, because those give some health, and uh, that's really helpful. Yeah, but at the same time, if you manage to get to the crabs, doesn't really matter, because she True. doesn't have to beat the crabs, she just has to see them. Just witness yeah. crab. It's pretty close, but I, it's so hard because, like, a lot of this stage is just not very distinct. Because, like, a lot of the platform patterns look similar, so... <laughs> yeah, I love that uh, it doesn't really matter if you go to Heck or not, because uh, you will get to the crabs either way. Heck is definitely more difficult. Better to stay yeah, up above ground if at all possible, but we'll see the she crabs. She is doing a great job of... Uh, yeah. Ooh, around there, but she's really low in health. Oh no, that's bad. Yeah, um, she needs to jump back up. There we go. Okay. okay. Is, I, I think, think this she is crab. Might have made it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yes. She made it. We we have witnessed crabs, everybody. Okay, she's going back to low G man. I think this is a smart move. I think she already so. has a lot of experience in it. Um, hopefully she'll just learn to uh, freeze then stab. She's done to these enemies, so she knows that you can hurt enemies after uh, you freeze them. I know Dana said in chat he was afraid because you know we said that the freeze gun doesn't do damage. She might think that you know you might not be able to damage the enemies when they're frozen, but I'm pretty sure she knows that. I think so, damage. yeah. Well, she freezes the enemies and then stabs them here, so I, I think so. I actually think it would be 100% worthwhile to kill enemies early on because they can drop weapon upgrades. Uh, yes. I'm not sure um, if she's noticed that she has gotten some before in previous attempts. Yeah. Okay. Um, the drops are fairly consistent-ish here. There's a tendency for certain things to drop. Oh no, she she missed the health up. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, unfortunately she's going for this really weird jump strat, and I don't know how consistent this is. I think it is getting some hits. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either, because I have Yagamoth's audio on. Um, but... If it's getting hits, that's okay, but it requires a lot of hits to take down this boss. And yeah. I really do think the freeze, then stab at some, then do a high jump strat is the best strat for consistency. I love how bad this version of Double Dragon is. It makes me so happy. It really is just so bad. Like, at least the NES Double Dragon, I'm not going to say it's the greatest game ever, but like... It has pretty decent controls, like it works. Um, you know, you can do things consistently in it. This version is just like, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, it's just so fascinating. Oh my gosh, so many kicks in the face. Yeah, the enemies uh, are just, like, there's no wind up at all. They are just, bam, okay. you're down. So, Yagamoth has learned one thing, and that is you can chain jump kicks in each other if you do it really fast, which he was doing, and then he stopped doing. Uh, you should not give enemies a chance to do that if you knock them down. You should just jump kick them over and over and over again. Yes. Uh, Which is weird, because he was doing that, and then he suddenly stopped, and I'm not sure why. There we go. Oh, yeah, some girl's still not quite completing this. Yagamoth, back to the boss. There's technically enough health that he could do this, but gotta take down at least some of the enemies. Uh, or take down this 
other one running around because they're just going to cause trouble. Oh, yeah. good kicks. Oh, wow. He's getting really lucky with jump kicks because jump kicks, yeah, they can counter them. And uh, really, your safest move is to Z-axis a lot and use the back elbow um, yeah, because it's I, really fast. I'd the agree. only problem is the back elbow doesn't have much range, so you like, have to wait until they get close enough to use it. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! Yagamuff goes down! Oh, I'm so uh, sad. Like, right now, some girl appears to be... A, like, she has a pretty good job or shot of taking the victory here due to being four to two. Yeah, um, unf I mean, even if she doesn't beat this, yeah, she still has a pretty healthy lead. Um, Yagamoth is now in heavy shredding, which, uh, does take a little learning for the controls. Uh, you kind of got to hold forward and it, you don't want to hit back in directions. Um, the problem with that is that if you do that, you'll kind of just do these useless spins. Um, you generally just either want to hit the directions or you want to hold forward and hit the directions. Yeah. Now, this is Widow Run. Uh, I know the goal is to beat the backwoods. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, he ran into the ramp. Uh, you, ju you just, so I mean, you, he jumped in the ramp. You just want to run into the ramp. I uh, tried crouching into the ramp because I thought you'd want to like, you know, like, bend your knees and lift off the ramp. Nope, that's not what you want to do. You just want to run into it. And that really mind gave me, because if you try to like kind of crouch and mount yourself for the ramp, uh, you actually yeah. just go through it. It's really stupid. Yep, he just did the same thing. Oh, <laughs> he just it. went into the ramp. <laughs> it's so That dumb. mind gave me for a good like five or so minutes. <laughs> so, like, I was like, why can't I do this? I love it. Oh, Yagamoth going down again. Not down the hill, just down into the snow. And, and it just makes no sense, because, like... <laughs> it's not how it would work in, in, like on an actual ramp. <laughs> like... I don't know, have you ever gone off a ramp before, Mike? Uh, fair enough, I haven't. Well, yeah. Uh, I, I, so I, I have not been able to confirm that, you know, when I... <laughs> You know, you know, bend my knees a bit. I go through ramps. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, generally, if they're they're the laws of physics, and usually you would keep some momentum, but you you do have to jump a little bit in order to like get any sort of decent air. And Yagamoth tried to sneak behind the truck. No, nope. yeah, that doesn't work. You it have tells. to hit the ramp. And the, and the thing is, like, it, it's just so weird because, like, you just run in the ramp. That's it. Like, you don't hit any buttons. You don't, like, do anything special. You just run into the ramp. I also love how the game tells you survival required. Yeah, you're you not know, allowed right? to die. Isn't that required in, like, pretty much every game ever? <laughs> not, like, ones where you die. Like, <laughs> oh, there we go. Yagamoth is over. Okay, good, good. He, he, he oh, learns faster than me. Oh, the deer just watching and mocking. <laughs> what a jerk. Yeah, um, unfortunately, Yagamoth is going to have to complete some stage really fast, and I don't and I don't think he has enough time to complete more than one state, if he even has time to complete one state. I think you're probably right. I, I don't think there's any chance that he's going to be able to get back into this. Uh, but yeah. with that said, he's making a really good push trying to get through this. Uh, didn't quite work there. It's fine. It's life. I will say this, even though, you know, there was the ramp boss, I really enjoyed this state because it's just so trolly. Yeah, it's trolly. I actually it's not too love long. this game. I genuinely love Heavy Shredding. Unfortunately, I know that one of our GMs, Lizstar, hated this game. And yeah, it made me I'm sad. Aware. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I wouldn't be sorry. <laughs> I, I, I wear it as a badge of honor. Like, I, I, I wear, like, if any, any player says that this is the worst game they've played, I feel like I've done my job. <laughs> Whee! Oh no! Ten seconds left! Okay, yeah. I was looking away from the computer for a second there. Oops. My gosh. Yeah, well, 
It's close, and that yeah. is time. Yagamoth. Nope. It's going to collide right into there because you have to crouch under it. That's the one time you actually have to bend your knees. <laughs> yeah, there's really no other point to bend your knees in uh, snowboarding. It's true. Well, it's pretty definitive. Some girl takes the victory. Yagamoth made a good push, but unfortunately was not able to get through this. Oh my gosh, what a difficult time we had today. These, yeah. these were hard states, okay? They were hard states. Um, like, the shortest one was Atlantis No Nazo for me, I think, and that was still like four to five minutes for me, and some girl just slaughtered that state. It took her like a minute or two. Yeah. Um, Hello, some girl. Hello. Hey, Hello. congratulations on your victory today. You um, did very well. Thank you. Girl, I'm really glad you didn't stick with Cliffhanger because you were maybe two thirds of the way through that state. It, 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 yeah. it, it, no, it, I, so, I, it took me 20 minutes to beat that, and I was so angry after I beat. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got through like, I got like I saw there was another type of obstacle about to show up, and I was like, all right, yeah, I'm out. Oh, and there's an even worse obstacle after the other type of obstacle that you saw. <laughs> yeah, it didn't feel like a final obstacle. I was like, you know, like let's just let's one let's one lie. I, I'm glad I'm glad you didn't stick with it for too too long because uh, yeah, that was definitely it, the one uh, like crap state where like if you spent too much time in that, you definitely would have lost a lot of time. Doing it. Yeah. yeah, I could see that for sure. Honestly, uh, uh, I, I feel like Yag Yagamoth did extremely well as well. It's just all of these states were very difficult. You know, yeah. people weren't just going to uh, complete them willy nilly. You had to have some good skill going into them. So, yeah, I'm wondering, uh, uh -huh. were there any that felt particularly good for you or particularly you wanted to avoid? Uh, well,. I think the most fun was JJ and Jeff. That's definitely like my my type of game, like just a, a platformer. It kind of feels like Adventure Island. It's a nice, it feels pretty nice to play. Uh, I knew yeah. that you have to kick a lot of stuff to find like keys or something. So I was like, I'm going to yep. kick everything. <laughs> that is definitely what you have to do. And you did a good job. Uh, sometimes I did find the back warp, which is cool. You, 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 you find poop. Yeah, what's funny is that um, in the top area in the clouds, you can actually warp straight to 4-4. Four four. Um, <laughs> after, after, after you collect the key, you actually just fall left, and then you just warp straight to 4-4. Four four. It's really good. Ah, of course. Yeah, Makes sense. Mike was like, yeah, I managed to beat that state, but I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it, it would still count as a win, but it's just like I just like fluked in it because I just fell down there by accident. Yeah, but yeah, for other states, American Gladiators and Atlantis No Nozzle were both I thought pretty easy. That's really funny because American Gladiators killed my fingers really bad, and it took me like seven to eight minutes, and only took you like two or three. Yeah, you just line line stuff up. You got to back up sometimes. I don't know, I thought that one was one of the easier ones. In Atlantis No Nazo, I don't... I assume that was some kind of escape sequence or something. I assume the timer mattered. No, well, the timer did matter. I think you died. It's really more there. just the physics of the game and how the jumps worked. And you yeah. Know, yeah, it's got a ring. Yeah, you get a higher jump if you're moving. Yeah, Yagamoth um, was able to do that one pretty quickly as yeah. well. It's just... Uh, that game is really well known for being super trolly because uh, it's very easy to warp to early places uh, in the game. <laughs> I think this was probably the most uh, understandable way to do that game. <laughs> so, um, all right. And, I, I, will, I will say this. Um, the one state that Yagamoth did that you didn't, although you tried it a bit, was Incredible Crunch Dummies. And yeah, that was, like crap. That was actually like w probably one of the shorter ones. Uh, yeah, uh, I, feel I just like played it for like a minute, and then my head kept falling off, and my controls were reversed, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, no, I'm out. Like, screw this." Yeah, no, yeah, oh yeah, that, it, it's horrible. Oh, uh, that game is pro at making you angry. Yeah, it uh, is. And then like when you get the speed up, it's not good because it just makes you completely uncontrollable. The one thing that made it doable is that you had three lives, and the game basically, like when you die, the game just checkpoints you basically. Okay, I didn't mess around with it too much. There was, uh, 
I kept having a problem where like I would bounce after landing and it would eat my jump input, and yeah. I was like, you can't jump so while you're shredded. in the air. Yeah. Now, uh, one thing that I don't think you touched at all was heavy shredding, which is actually a much easier snowboarding state than cliffing. I've played that game before, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. That was uh, one of my matches back in Kuso 3. Uh, and two and a half years since I played it, and I kind of remember it being pretty painful, and I didn't remember how long it was. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I yeah. I love it when knowledge of a game actually goes to your disadvantage. <laughs> because yeah. it... <laughs> yeah. The other game I had some knowledge of was I did watch the recent match of Jinmu Densho. So early on, I was like, avoid, but then later on, I was like, you know, maybe this isn't so bad. So I tried it, and Oh, it was oh, not that bad. Honestly, yeah, Summer Girl. It's Jack. I feel oh. like you were making a really good push with low G men as well. Yeah. I honestly I love that game. Have? Let me it and stab it multiple times. That's what yeah. it's, 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 it's still register when it's frozen? Yes. Yes. It does. Oh, that, there was absolutely no indicator of that. So no, here's the thing. Not. <laughs> because if I know that, that would have been trivial. It takes so, so many hits. And the thing is, yeah, what you want to do is you want to, you know, shoot it four or five times to freeze it. Then you like jump on it, stab it three or four I times. Don't. Then you jump really high. So if it shoots at you, you just despawn the bolt because the game has great scrolling. And then like you land back down and then you shoot it and then you repeat. And, oh, then, yeah, I and, you, and you have to do that a lot. You have to hit it at least 30 times. It, it just takes so many hits that that's why it feels like you're not hitting. I remember when I was testing this state, I, I remember asking Wizard, who, who's the one who made this state, I was like, am I doing something? Like, does it just take a lot of hits? And then like, right after I asked that, I'm like, oh yeah, it just takes a lot of hits. It's, yeah, I probably yeah, should have had one at time where I just tried and, that. But... And PC and I both approved it. I was like, this takes a million hits. It's perfect. And then PC is like, this is so evil. I approve. <laughs> like, like I said, if I had known that I was doing damage while it was frozen, I don't think that would have been a very hard state at all. I think I got a good, like, 20 hits or so without freezing it, so... Uh, yeah, I, I think that the uh, uh, biggest thing that would have helped uh, is that when you uh, froze earlier enemies and killed them while frozen, it did the same thing. It didn't show that they were being hit. Uh, oh, they all died and won't hit. Yeah, I mean, there's that. <laughs> So I'm not, I'm like not sure of them took a, a couple hits. Uh, I know you tried Pac-Man 2 a bit. That's probably, that one's pretty bad. So the thing about those, that like extender part with the ghosts, you're actually not supposed to hit them. You're just supposed to speed through them when the, uh -oh. ext the extender thing is up and dodge them. The, yes. But it's yeah, back you know, like, I was playing that. I felt like this is probably not a very difficult state, but I don't know what it wants me to do. So I'm yeah. gonna stick to something that I know what I have to do. That's, that's probably that's probably the most difficult part of it. And then once you figure that out, it's not too difficult. Yeah. From there. Well, I um, think that we're at the I point where we're gonna have to move oh, yeah. on in a second. Okay, yeah. yeah. I also didn't touch Double Dragon because that looked abysmal. <laughs> uh, it, yeah. It is and uh, Glitch Witch and I both tried it out, and we love the state, but it also took us about 13 to 15 minutes. So that was probably another trap state, and you were very smart not to try it. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd agree. Well, thank you so much, Some Girl. You're moving yeah, on. Yagamoth is, Yagamoth is still in the tournament, you know, going to be doing another gauntlet in the near future. So best of luck. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, well, I like the gauntlet. Some Girl. Oh, it's fun. It's fun, but, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Well, we it's are. Stressful. This is so much more stressful than a regular match. Oh yeah, it. There's a lot going on. Well, thank you so much. Have a good afternoon, and we'll see you next you time for round four. All right. Thanks for having me. Bye. See ya. Uh, well, and uh, I'll be bowing out too. I need to eat some food, and I know that the guy behind, you know, organizing all the states porn, Dan, I think he is going to be the one joining you for the next uh, gauntlet match. I think so. We're going to run to a commercial. I need to run away from the computer for about one minute and we'll be back.
and welcome back everybody to Cusco Grande, the bad video game tournament. We had a question in chat about whether or not some of the players stream and uh, in general we try to keep their Twitch names up on stream so that you can go and follow them. So yes, some girl is definitely streaming Gagamoth as well. Uh, fantastic people, you should definitely go and watch them. Let me go ahead and make sure that I actually have everything set today. 